What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Get Real Bass Fishing. We are on the water again. Uh, we were uh, we were catching some nice fish lately. Uh, we had a big skunk fest for a while, a couple days, even over a week that I went out and I didn't catch anything. And there were fish everywhere. I saw them, they were jumping out of the water and all this stuff and uh, finally had a good day yesterday. The Lord blessed me with some nice fish. And uh, I know it's silly, it's stupid to even think, but I came out here the next day and we're gonna see if we can produce the same fish that we did yesterday. And everybody knows you don't get two good days like that ever, back to back. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully we catch something and this is actually a video. We will see, we will see. We're out here, we left home at like four o'clock, uh, got to the water, uh, I think high tide was 5.20. It is currently 6.28. So we should start seeing a turn really soon. It's still coming in pretty hard, which is why I came back to the truck. I've been fishing for a while and it's just kind of impossible to, to work some baits and I'm freezing. So I decided to come in. I, I, I initially came out here for the outgoing tide. This is a very good out, outgoing tide area. So we're gonna see what happens. It's a freaking 40. He's barely hooked. 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 I just lost my rod. It's a 40. It could be a 50. It could be a freaking 50. It could be a freaking 50. I'm freaking shaking. 
I'm freaking shaking. Oh. It's a 50. It's a freaking 50. Oh my gosh. It's a freaking 50. On a spikes buck tail. It's a freaking 50. It's a freaking 50. Man. I do what I could. Yeah, I know you could. Oh. Yeah, I'm freaking shaking. So I measured my 70 30 split yesterday to check the other fish. It measured 39 and a half inches. This fish was over a foot longer. This is what I caught it on hand tied spikes, bugtail, smoothturnrelease.com slash shop if you want to pick some off. One and a half ounce. Look at that hook. It's not even bent, guys. It's not even bent. Jeez. That's awesome. Now we're gonna put on a two ounce, see if I can uh, catch something on a two ounce. Cause I'm going to retire that lure that is now my PB fish. I guess I was wrong when I said days like that don't happen two days in a row. Jeez. If that's all the Lord has for me today, then I'm, I'm very much content and happy, but let's see what he else has in store for us. For the record, because I thought it was funny, I just sneezed and my hood came up. <laughs> uh, it's not a blue fish. He's swimming against this current. Swimming against the current. Get out of the rocks. No, 
I'll go the other way, please. Who's gonna move? Who's gonna move first? It's like a game of chicken. And it's just a little guy. Alright, he's over here now. That's why the head shakes felt like a bluefish. He was smaller. That's not a bad fish. The high teens right there, maybe. Yeah, high teens. And the spikes bucktail, one and a half ounce, same exact lower same exact uh, bucktail as the uh the big one was caught on but there we go all right i'm not gonna bring them up to the rocks and show them on the big camera but. that spikes bucktail Killer! Killer! There we go. I knew it! I freaking knew it! So the birds are working, and I had my bucktail on the bottom, and I kept feeling thud, thud, thud. So I was like, alright, that's definitely fish. That's definitely fish rubbing up against my line. So I kept my rod tip really, really high and I started working the bucktail quicker to keep it up higher in the water column. And uh, it turns out, it's where the fish are. So every thud doesn't necessarily mean you're getting a hit. It could just mean that there's fish rubbing against your line. You're in a school. It turns out that's what this was. It's a nice one. Why do they keep going into the current? They're gonna go into the rocks. I don't want them in the rocks. Oh, that's a nice one. That's for sure a nice one. That's for sure a nice one. Spikes, boy. Keep your spikes on. Go this way. Go this way. How big are you? Oh gosh. Oh gosh. It's a 25 at least. It's at least a 20, 25. Man, these rocks are slippery. Out of the rock, out of the rock, out of the rock. That's another 25, boy. Let's see where he is on the rod. That's another 39-inch freaking fish. What the freak? 
in the siege. It's a 39 inch fish. Jeez, another 25 pounder. On the spikes bucktail. No bend out. There we go. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Cool beans. There he goes. Yes, sir. That one and a half ounce spiked bucktail seems to be doing the trick. Most of the fish are coming low and slow on the bottom, getting it down in the bottom, just twitch, twitch, reel, twitch, twitch. But that hook, man, it's not bending out. That's good stuff. There we go. Another low and slow presentation with that bucktail. Keep going into the current, man. You're gonna go around the rocks again. How big are you? You feel pretty decent. My arm is burning. How big are you? You're not a 50. Are you a 20? A 30? Another 15? That could be a 20. That's a 20 pounder. Another 20. Let's see where he lays. It's about 36 and a half, 37 inch fish. On a spiked bucktail. St. Croix Siege. Here we go. Another striper. Another good fish. Well, what a day. What a day. The beast that performed today was the St. Croix Siege 10 foot 6 medium heavy moderate fast action 2 to 6 ounce with a Vanstall VSX 200. 
30 pound braid and I threw on some 50 pound mono leader today. Probably should have gone up a little more, but that was it. The one lure that caught everything you saw today was my hand tied spiked bucktails. This is a one and a half ounce and that hook did not bend out on anything, not even the one that I, I retired for my 50. But geez, what a day. I did not expect that. Had a couple 30s yesterday and then I came in today. I was like, oh, we're not gonna catch anything because that doesn't happen twice. Landed a 50, but man, what a day. I had 39 inch fish and two days ago, that would have been like the biggest fish of the year. And then over here, we catch one that is well over a foot longer than that. And we catch another 39 inch today and it just dwarfs the thing. It's like, oh yeah, okay, 39 inch, you know, give it a smooch and release it. But dang, what a day. Super windy, time to go home. Woo hoo. Thank you.